here with senior captain Tommy Reed. Tommy, how you doing? I'm good, how are you? So I want to hear about, we'll just start right at the culmination, I believe, of the season for you. If I'm wrong, just, just let me know. But um, championship game, Section 3, Class B championship game against West Hill, bottom of the 14th inning. You come up to the plate with a uh, runner on first base. What's going through your head? I was just trying to get on base. And possible. Our motto is next man up. That's what coaches have always told us. So just trying to get the next nice. batter up. Uh, so take us through that at bat and uh, just describe it. Well, in, in your eyes. Earlier in the game, I haven't, I didn't really like put the ball in play that much. I struck out, I think, once or twice. But I just tried to make contact with the ball. And the first pitch was a fastball. Fastball, you ripped it down the right field line, and uh, the rest is history. Yeah. Uh, so, what goes through your head? You know the game's over, and just to I explain your feelings at that time. It was, it was great. It was, I mean, the first sectional title in 15 years for the team, but it was my first sectional title, too. So. Yeah, 2000, 2004, the last sectional title for Skinny Atlas. Dan Bennett, who's coaching Little League right now, he marches in the parade, and uh, you know, he loves the fact that we always mention the fact that uh, he was part of a Skinny Alice sectional championship. So I just want to talk to you and the rest of the guys about that. So I think it's the first year you guys all marched in the Little League parade. Yeah, yeah. You won the championship. Are we going to make that a tradition? Is that going to be a part of the baseball yeah. thing now? Yeah, you <laughs> I know you're a multi-sport athlete like a lot of the seniors on this team. The soccer team did really well this year. Is that where you're going to go play college? Are you going to play some yep. soccer in college? Yeah, I'm playing at RIT. Playing at RIT. Your brother also goes yep. to RIT, yep. so family affair. Yeah. Good stuff. And, you know, what else do you want people to know about this season, your teammates? you have any funny stories, anything like that? Uh, just the fact that I, we went to Myrtle this year, so it was a great team bonding that really brought us together. Yeah, so. that's, a, that's a great trip. But what is it about Myrtle that it brings you all together? Just being around each other the whole week. You know, we stayed in rooms together and just had four games down there. So oh, that's great. Yeah. What do you have planned for the summer? Uh, nothing much, just preparing for the soccer season. Right, sounds good. Is baseball done for you, or what um, do you think? You think you played your last game? I don't know. I I want to keep playing, but good. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a pleasure to watch you. I've had these conversations with with your dad. You know, watching you play soccer, watching you play baseball. I think I said to him that. Uh, pay money to watch you play tiddlywinks because <laughs> everything that you do you just go after it and you're determined and focused at all times and yeah. it's just been a pleasure so congratulations on being a sexual champion for baseball thank you, all right, thank you very much